JJK, bro. Oh my god, y'all fucking That's selling That's to get a chip. <laughs> no, 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 because I started watching it, y'all selling me, bro. <laughs> but, uh, look, 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 just let me make a deal with you niggas, bro. Wait, we return. I'll finish that shit tonight, and I swear to God, we can react to this shit tomorrow. We can do this shit tomorrow, bro. Please, bro. <laughs> All right, look, look. We gonna cut it right here, bro. We gonna pause it right here, and we gonna continue this shit tomorrow, bro. And we're back. Yes, sir. Devontae, I'm fully, almost complete. Are you done? I'm on the movie. I'm on the last episode, bro. So I want to hear shit. The most recent, bro. That so you saw some shit that you never seen before. You nah, even cried. Y'all niggas, I mean, Palumi not gonna care because that nigga don't yeah, watch I, this. I don't care. But like, fucking King, bro. Oh man, I feel bad, bro. Niggas was getting back there. Bro, niggas was getting popped, bro. See? It's some bullshit. Nah, bro, that shit pissed me off what happened to bro, bro. So, bro. Bro, answer this, man. Who? Don't worry about it. This is not even have a spoiler. Sukuna grabbed her phone, and he started looking at it oh, like, Oh, Sukuna's hey, back. They took hella shit on my name. The f*** is this phone? Yeah, yeah I remember this shit. Get this shit out of my face. That, that nigga, it don't make no sense how strong that nigga is. Yeah, he's like the ultimate strong nigga. Yeah. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Shibuya tribe. Shibuya! Shibuya, roll call! It is finally time for the trial that many have been waiting for. A trial one year in the making, and Damn. it starts now. Making his way to the stand right now, Challenger 2. Coming in at around 5'8", weighing about 180 pounds of gear. Dog. This is a dog! What the it's fuck? One of the most disgusting, vile creatures to ever walk the earth. And his ignorance knows no bound. Ladies and gentlemen, that the king of man. curses, Ryomen Sukuna. So y'all already know we have the evidence on deck. The ranking system is ready to tally, and it is now time for the return of the Oh, dog. yeah, this scene right here was crazy. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't uh, it. It's a bit hey. Hey. I'm not going to lie. Gojo ain't beating this nigga, bro. Ryomen Sukuna, a tyrant. Not you know, where he at now, bro. All the way back to a thousand years ago, once a human turned into the king of curses, he was rumored to have four arms and two faces, and he was such a dog-ass nigga. They gave him the name Sukuna, but then he was defeated and not to return ever again. Yeah. Until a 15-year-old boy decided to decode one of his fingers and let the dog off of the leash once again. And now we're here. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> welcome to Exhibit A, The Calm Before the Storm. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as we know, we have covered Sukuna in the past, and I said I would finish this off after the Shibuya incident, and now it's finally time. But... Since we have a new ranking system, we need a refresher to add up all those points. So sit up, get in your gaming position, because we about to speed run this up. Itador is being attacked by a curse, so his only chance of survival was to full on swallow a nasty This is the first episode, nice finger, Therefore, bringing Sukuna back to the mortal plane and one shotting a curse spirit. Damn! Later on, Gojo That's not even his full vibe. Sadly, whoops his ass. He fully embarrassed his bro, to be honest. Like, he, he literally sat on the nigga, and Sukuna takes a L. <laughs> Next, Sukuna fights a cursed womb and beats the absolute piss out of him as he was stomping on his face, ripping off this his nigga arm, got his ass. And yeah. to use malevolent to kill that and nigga. Shish kebabs the nigga. Shortly after that, <laughs> he decides to play Dance Dance Revolution and beat the shit out of Megumi. A generational ass whooping if I have to say for myself. Yeah, Megumi as got his ass beat by that, bro. proceeded to juggle his ass throughout the entire city. But Superman has respect for this nigga, though. This fucking hit a fucking hotel. No, uh, the nigga that's beating Megumi. And finally, Superman. violating Yuji in his own body, disrespecting him in his own body, then killing him and taking his body. Oh my god! Stitch. Oh, Jesus Christ. And I almost Man, forgot. he was fucking they shit up. He made Mojito shit his pants. Bro touched his soul and said, Don't you ever touch my soul ever again, you dirty ass nigga. No, your place trash. Then damn near killed him and put Bro on his knees and made him wallop in excruciating pain. And now we've caught up to the present. And with all the previous actions already added up from stage one, all I'ma just say is, this man's spot of ranking is going to be fucking terrifying. We now move on to October 31st, 2018. 
on the gruesome night of the Shibuya incident. We will now be observing these two dumbass girls finding the unconscious body of Itadori. So these two idiots decide to shove one of Sukuna's fingers down Itadori's throat to try to get him to come out. What the fuck are you dumbass hoes doing? Like seriously, did you think this play was not gonna go south? And then Jungle comes sprinting down the hallway like, what the hell is going on here? Hey, wait, wait a damn minute. Hey, how many fingers you feed that nigga? Oh my god, what about so Jungo decides to just burn him, walk over to Itadori's body, and pulls out ten fingers, and he says, The streets say you're the throat goat, little nigga. So Damn. go ahead and swallow all these up for me. And I ain't gonna lie, this yeah, is the about to sound he swallows crazy, the... but Jungo shoves ten the fingers The boy takes over his body, right? nigga's throat like mad. That shit is just nasty as fuck. And this nigga did it while he was unconscious on some Bill Cosby shit. But nah, somehow these girls survived. So Jungo's about to burn him again, but right before he's about to do it again, he ends up realizing, wait, 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 wait a minute. Where the fuck did my hair go? Yeah. 0 0.01 seconds to get your dirty ass hands off me. This man Jungle bags off fast as fuck. He ain't got caught off you. He's shitting themselves. The two idiots over here hyperventilating and shit. Like, oh my god, oh my god, girl, oh my god. Then Jungle's all ugly ass looking at him like, oh Jesus, I think I'm gonna shit myself. So Sukuna walks over and tells him, oh, some bastard. On your knees now. And they drop to their knees fast as hell. While bro threw an air blade at him. Nigga made him hit the cha cha slide. Bro said, I don't know, can you go? Can you go now? <laughs> what the fuck? Stop playing. So then he asked the girls first, Aye, what yeah, the fuck y'all want? It's crazy, I just watched this today. Attack. She crying and shit, she don't know what to say. The Sukuna in the background like, come on now, hurry up, oh, time's a waste it. So she ends up asking him to save Ghetto from a certain person controlling his body, which I'm not going to say because I do not know if the anime has revealed that yet. But you start seeing their backstory, bruh. And y'all know damn well what happens when you start hearing some emotional ass music with a damn backstory playing in the background. So <laughs> Sukuna says, yeah, I raise your heads. So they raised their heads. And bow! He don't give a fuck! Sweet Jesus! Oh, these hoes are stupid! He don't give a fuck! Oh my god! Oh my god! Bitch, shut up! This man's sucking the light. My god, shut the fuck up. So she tried to hit him with her selfie power. She like, Nigga said, Man! Cancel your ass! But bro just slices off her frontal lobe. And she gets in a blender. And after this, Sukuna grabs her phone. Crush that big throw it. Damn. They took hella shit on my name. The fuck is this cartoon shit? Eat the shit out my face. So then he turns to Jungle Damn. and asks, guys, what you want? So Jungle says, well, um, to be honest, I just want to scrap with you. Huh? Well, you know, niggas been calling you a fraud coon lately. Bro, that, that nigga is strong, strong too, too, but he made that nigga like a bitch. Well, Sukuna making a deal with this man. He ends up telling him, if you land one hit on me, I'll work under you and kill everybody in the Shibuya district. So Jungle ends up accepting a fight, but... Yeah, uh, I don't even know if you could call this a fight. Yeah. Nigga, this was a generational ass woman. <laughs> Shit out of this nigga. Damn. Chopping off his arms, Damn. every punch, cutting off his fingers, and threw him across the city like a rag doll, and hammer fences his head to a fucking ground. Damn, man. Damn, For like 20 seconds, and Bro's already knocked the fuck out. So Jogo goes full on, crack that tower! And just starts flooding everything with magma. He's got the whole city looking like Crisis City right now. And got Sukuna's ass tiptoeing back, dodging with his hands in his pockets. Then Jogo makes two big ass Susano magma hands and slams two skyscrapers into him. But Bro busts out and pulls it, thinking he's Jesus. <laughs> and he's like, where, where did he go? And Sukuna comes from the side and paws, bro. Nigga, look at this frame. This is fucking terrifying. Yeah. Whoever animated this little split second, must be a nigga, cycle. you cooked. <laughs> <laughs> the skyscraper and starts bouncing his ass like a basketball. And yeah. Jungle's just floating in the air thinking, oh my god. I don't know why I did this. Look at that. This shit was just brutal, bro. This man got up and his jaw was just fucked. Done. He's missing and everything. This man, Sukuna, was talking hella shit. He said, wow, when the moonlight's shining on you, it really shows how pussy you are. But he ends up picking up his body and tells him, nigga, you ain't shit. <laughs> I'm gonna keep on beating you until I'm satisfied. Oh my god, I can't do this shit no more, nigga. 
Lil Dick Sukuna ends up doing some of the most pettiest shit. Lil Dick Sukuna is skating backwards looking like Shadow the Hedgehog. Sukuna is a cocky motherfucker. And meanwhile, Kusakabe and Panda are trying to run away from these sorcerers and get out of the blast radius. While Rame running, Sukuna comes in and stops them. And he got everybody shook. So he Damn. said, all right, everybody, let's play a game. We're going to play the motherfucking squid game. Red light, green light, nigga. You do not move until I say green light. Damn. That's crazy. Don't move. That nigga really had them niggas wait. Really? Nah, this is just petty. Bro, it's really what the hard fuck did he drop on the ass? Bro. So Jolo thinks he I'm hit him. Bro. So the amount of niggas that died corner, sitting crisscross applesauce, bro, around this time Jesus was crazy. Man, how the hell did you miss that? You know, aim labs is free, buddy. But tragically, it was over for Joko. Sukuna was done playing with his food. Bro said, Fuga. And turns into Katniss Everdeen with yep. this damn fireboat and started to have a high noon old Put that nigga in a flashback. And what's funny about this, they don't even show the shot. This instantly yeah. goes into they don't even show head, it. and he's talking to his dead friends like, Damn, is, I'm sorry. The allegations were false. That nigga's no fraud. <laughs> so then Supin is just looking at him from the back and he tells him, Stand proud. You are a nigga. <laughs> And then it just comes to Jobo's burning corpse. Damn, he killed him. Damn, fuck that nigga. He got thrown That's like a ragdoll and beaten to a pulp in his last like five minutes of life. That's this shit. Maybe a try to exhibit That's a wrap crazy. up. Murder, murder, attempted murder, <laughs> invasion of privacy, attempted murder, <laughs> murder, murder. No, nah, he did them Mass girls wrong, bro. Fuck them niggas up. Exhibit B. Yeah, all right, ladies and gentlemen. It bro, is now time for many, Exhibit bro. B. And what might you be the most fight outrageous that Exhibit with. B I've ever done? Collateral damage. Yeah. And after this is over, you will clearly understand why I named it this. Because this number right here is about to go through the fucking roof. It is now time to observe yeah, this the fight with Maharaga and how Sukuna once again decided to play with his food. So they start fighting and Sukuna's already This battle was crazy. I want to go with this nigga. But then they go fly. This motherfucker walks out drinking a diet coke <laughs> and just chopping on some popcorn. Arella's disappointed. He must have went to go see the Marvels. And he just eating the popcorn like, oh, man, this is disgusting. No salt and no butter for $15? <sighs> Must be from AMC. He's <laughs> mad as hell Damn. and just continues to bully Maharaga. Oh, cut him into pieces and everything. Like, look, bro, the nigga found a finger in his hood. Oh. And look at the Jojo <laughs> reference. These boys is cooking. And after Sukuna went for class, he wraps Bo up and throws him into another building. Yeah, right, damn, see, bro. This thing is OP. His thing's ass. Like, bro looks like he's just having fun. But now, ladies and gentlemen, it is about to turn up. Focus on the true meaning of this exhibit. In Newsflash, it's not the fight. The true focus of this exhibit is the amount of innocent people that lost their life in this fight. That's crazy. Oh my God. Them niggas you went to war. Pause this video right now and go get a calculator or open the fucking app on your phone. Because we're about to make this shit interactive as a bitch. We're just going to try to estimate and tally up how many people died in this fight. All so right. Now, boom, they go flying into this room. Let's get the calculator. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. They all get sliced up. And Damn! That just blows up the room. Twelve already. Twelve. Damn. Blood stains everywhere, and he's putting Maharaga on his ass. <laughs> and then this time you can see that Sukuna's just fucking around this entire fight. This nigga's just juggling his big ass with aerials, and grabs the crane, turns into Tarzan, and drop kicks him. And with that single kick, the damage that he just caused is unreal. Look at this, it's a literal car avalanche going on right now. And look at all these people in the frame. I count 14 people in this frame, and that is a poor innocent little girl hanging on to her mother. And you know damn, damn well they ain't making out that. <laughs> That's 14. Crazy. Next, this whole <laughs> building is falling down and these people are hanging off for their life. Oh, this damn! Man, he strength his ass and he falls off. And I estimate there is at least 25 people on that roof. And look at the building falling. You know they did. 25. And then this is where this starts to get really OD. So Maharaja hits Sukuna with a train and throws him all the way into this building. And while he's on his ass, Sukuna jumps up and splits the entire building Bruh. in half. And just look at all these people, bro. Damn. 
Bro, this anime does not care how many people die. They don't give a fuck. the chaos on a full scale. Maharaga threw a building at this man, and he cut it into pieces while sitting on a traffic light. He just started making the debris just rain while he's just taking a bow and enjoying the chaos. Look at this one. This, this is ridiculous. Nigga, is that a plane? <laughs> you want no Boeing is having a fit right now. This is what I think it is. A Boeing 737. That's fit a 300 people? That's about 200 oh, bodies, bro. That's oh. crazy. And look what Sukuna does to this man. Bro said, and the entire city is being sliced up right now. And Sukuna's ready to end this. Bro's finally done playing with his food again. So he ends up activating Malevolent Shrine. And before he even shoots, you just look at all these people, bro. Just about to have a gruesome fate. These poor girls are here like, oh my god, girl, what is all that noise? <laughs> I don't know. Let me check Twitter. Oh my god, girl, they dropped the GTA 6 trailer. <laughs> yes, bitch. But sadly, these girls ain't even get to watch the trailer. So <laughs> That's crazy. Like shrine, that it just is just watches Maharaga. Everything just gets obliterated. Anybody in a 200 meter radius were just evaporated. And this nigga's just smiling like, oh yes. Burn, baby, burn! Bro, the strength that this nigga possesses, bro. Maharaga off. Bro hit him with that. And what? This fucking place off the map. God damn, boy, this thing is well, fucking Zucuna different. Killed everybody. Oh, shit, I don't know. A lot of bodies, man. This is near the Shibuya crossing. So, I don't know. Nigga, I'm gonna just say a thousand bodies, bro. Fuck and then more. after this, Haruta's dumbass. Nigga, he survived like... Shit. Oh my god, I get to see another... Yeah. And just gets split. <laughs> Bro really thought he was a main antagonist. But just like that, nigga. Like yeah. Look petty. So he realizes, oh shit, I'm out of time. So to be just a complete asshole, he walks over to the crater and is like, yeah, this'll do. Let the little nigga see what I did. And swaps Basically. back out with Yuji. It just traumatizes the kid. Make Damn. the little nigga just have a whole breakdown. And I know he's just laughing inside of his head like, enjoy it, kiddo. Now play that good shit. <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> Jesus, man. Took over that nigga body and made that nigga watch that shit. That's crazy. Nah, that, that's different, bro. And ladies and gentlemen, that completes the ship. Yep, trial. I got around that number. I showed insane support on that last video. A thousand three hundred? A thousand three hundred fifty-two. And until we meet it's again, probably more than like, that, bro. Two weeks or some shit. Oh, so he's not going to spoil the episode I'm on now. Yeah, he's going to say they're going to meet again. Did he even get hit, bro? Bro. No, no, that, that, no that, he made that fight seem a lot shorter than what it was. But when he was fighting uh, that white joint, that white thing, yeah. I forgot what his name is. But when he was, was fighting longer. that shit, them niggas was, them niggas was fighting, That bro. white thing was also smacking. Yeah, them that shit was powerful, bro. Huh? Them, yeah, them niggas was Because I saw that nigga was splitting shit, too. Bro, nigga throwing was, trains yeah. and shit. That nigga was a like menace. And then the fact that he made that nigga walk up to the crater and look at the destruction that he caused. Yeah, that's fucked up. Where was Gojo at at this time? Gojo was trapped in a little... It's like they got... They trapped him in, like, this um this prison thing. It's like a little box, bro. And he you know what it was out? called? Nah, but they, he can't get out. They trapped him. But yeah, man, that'll be it for today's video, man. We hope you guys enjoy, man. I hope you ain't spoiling nothing. We're going to put a spoiler shit in the beginning of this shit. So we let y'all yeah. know, nigga. This shit is spoiler, nigga. Hey, but please don't forget to like, share, subscribe if you're new. God loves you. God bless you. And we see out of here.